Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Chidi Obere. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how to process transfer through Paystack. You can call it transfer or withdrawal. So for you to process transfer, you need to first identify the customer you want to transfer to before you initiate the transfer. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to accept payment via card bank transfer and ussd you can check out the tutorial on my channel so for this tutorial i've gone ahead to create uh, my project and it's currently here i've done this project before uh, just for test purpose and to keep this video short i will just copy those code explain them as i copy i will also share this code uh, through the uh, github on the video description so you can have access to it and use it as you wish so i won't be doing much coding rather we'll just be copying the codes which i have saved in these places and i will use them directly in the application so without wasting much of your time let's dive right in for each of my app i like to structure my projects well so we have screens and for this screen we have the um, withdrawal screen and for this withdrawal screen we have a stateful widget and we will also want to do this so let's start coding so just like I told you I won't be doing much coding I'll simply copy the code that I have before and paste so let's start up my emulator so we can get a view sorry let me um, this guy has for now let's put the container Shared error. Okay, let's put a container here and fire up my emulator. So let's have the emulator running. So, what we need to do here for us to send money under transfer, the things we need to do is we need to create a transfer recipient generate transfer reference then initiate the transfer and for us to create transfer recipients we need to do that via this so once you use this uh, API call you will get a response like this the only thing I need here for me to proceed with the transfer is this recipient code with this recipient code once you go to single transfer you should be able to see where you have to pass the recipient code here so I believe my okay it's working now so I can go ahead and start pasting uh, so I want to use safe area over here and let's just paste copy and paste so I copy and I paste and I get tons of errors so here are the packages i'm using just in case i am using get drop down button to crypto and http this is a drop down button this is for hashing the reference string and this is for making http calls so i will go ahead and start importing this one after the other so i will get this I will also need to call some uh, variables I defined so these are the variables I used before so let me just copy the variables and the method I called earlier on I will be adding them I will explain them to you later on and we can forge ahead so all these errors you are seeing are due to import imports that needs to be done let's go ahead and um, keep 
keep on importing all this so the next one I will do is the constants I have some constants that I define and I API keys and then I have a base URL so for the API key and base URL I have um, this is the base URL here so this is the base URL and for the API key I'm using a, a test API key for me to test and I'll simply do what I simply paste it here and the other things I will need to do is to add a handler to get some things like initial and validator so I will just make it one here handler and paste so this are my handler this is valid to validate amount and to get initials so I will come back here and paste them so I go back to my withdrawal screen I have bank data this is a model for banks which is a response I, I got it from a response from paystack so I will go ahead and create my bank model I need to put that under the models directory and yes I will go ahead and look for my model okay here's my model I'll copy it and then I'll bring it here so over here I will simply import my model uh, we also import my API keys I will also import my base URL and over here I will import HTTP as HTTP so that all this will be cleared and I will also import the convert I'll come over here now we have uh, paste services so for this paste services we create folder called services and we create our paste service or services rather so um, for this paste stack service I need to get the service for this space tech service let me see where it is uh, I need to get the paste tag service so mm -hmm. I've added my paste tag services here's my paste tag services don't worry I will explain all this code to you and um, I have I need to import API keys and I import my API key and this has to do paste tag service and uh, the name change paste tag service so over here this paste tag service that I'm calling I import it and I mean you need to import max I need to import crypto so let me do that manually import crypto crypto so here I need to get initials I need to import the drop down button uh, import drop down button too so everything seems to be all right let's now run this application and see what it will give us so over here we have input field for bank account and over here we have for selecting banks it's not functional now because um, we need to fetch it at initialization so let's restart the application so if you check again now you'll see all the banks in Nigeria so currently I'm using Nigeria 
I'm in Nigeria and I'm using uh, Paystack Nigeria. So for us to go ahead in the next video, I'm going to explain this code line by line, what it does, what to expect and how to use it. See you in the next video.